Abraham Lincoln was quoted as saying, Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. This quote emphasizes the importance of preparation. If you prepare well to sharpen your axe, you can get the job done more efficiently, while if you have a dull axe, it's going to take a long time to finish. If you apply this quote to the modern life, I'd see your concentration as your axe. If you have a terrible concentration, you won't be able to work efficiently, whereas if you have a good concentration, you can execute any task smoothly. So improving your concentration is equivalent of sharpening your axe. But the modern life is designed to take our ability to focus away from us. We are constantly getting breaking news, new emails, and a notification from social media, and we are always reacting to these events. To make matters worse, we now always have endless entertainment at our fingertips. You can instantly access Netflix to watch movies or play a game, so we never have to get bored. However, boredom is actually the key to concentration. Whenever we feel bored, we look for something to break the boredom. We seek novel stimuli such as social media or YouTube videos. This habit creates a Pavlovian conditioning where boredom means stimuli. In other words, if you check your phone every time you get bored, your brain learns that you get to have novel stimuli after feeling bored. As a result, when you actually have to focus on something hard, you will struggle to concentrate because your brain says, hey, this is boring, let's check your phone. This craving for novel stimuli makes it so difficult for you to focus. Therefore, it's clear that we need to break this Pavlovian conditioning to improve our concentration. So how do we do that? Well, the key is accepting boredom. When you feel bored, you don't always have to do something about it. Sometimes you just allow yourself to be bored and embrace it. I think one of the best ways to practice embracing boredom is meditation. Honestly speaking, meditation is really boring, but that's precisely what makes it valuable. You sit in silence, make yourself bored, and do nothing about it. I usually take 20 minutes every morning to meditate. You just need a timer. During meditation, I often do the Wim Hof breathing. That is breathing fully in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth. Repeat this 20 to 30 times. After that, you hold your breath for as long as you can, maybe about one or two minutes. Finally, you breathe in fully and hold your breath for 15 seconds. That is one round, and do this for two or three rounds. After doing the Wim Hof breathing, I usually go back to normal breathing and continue my meditation. Again, I want to emphasize that the point of meditation, in a sense, is allowing yourself to be bored and not doing anything about it. So if you find yourself bored during meditation, that's a win. Another way to train your concentration is focusing in sprint. What it means is that you focus as intensely as possible for a limited time. For example, you set the timer for 15 minutes and study without checking your phone or going on YouTube. If you fail, you start over. The idea is that you train your concentration like you'd train for a marathon. You're not going to be able to run a full marathon on the first try. You have to start from a shorter distance like one mile, then gradually increase the distance until you get comfortable with 26 miles. So just like that, you practice concentration from a short period of time, like focusing for 15 minutes. When you get comfortable with 15 minutes, make it 20, 30, 40, until you get around 90 minutes. As you practice focus sprint, you will gradually be able to focus a little longer and longer. The modern life makes focusing very difficult. As Naval Ravikant says, many of modern diseases are diseases of abundance. I think the lack of concentration is one of them. If you consume too much breaking news or entertainment all day, that's going to take your concentration away from you without you even noticing. So I think it's important to take some time every day for deliberate practice to improve your concentration. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter where I share my favorite apps, books, articles, podcasts, and more. Thanks. Bye.